lot to my channel. So today is a very exciting day for me because I'm going to be able film this video na to for me to use this product. And this is the Dior Skin Forever Foundation. So uh, I'm so excited to try this because I've heard so many great reviews on this and I've watched it. It's so good to finish it. So I'm ready to try this with you and see how it goes. And I'm praying, Lord, please, na sana sulit siya because you know, Dior is a medyo um, luxury brand na na maitutuloy. So, I'm very I'm on the fence kasi on one hand, gusto ko siya mag-work dahil medyo nag-invest nga tayo sa kanya. On the other hand, ayaw ko masyadong matat siya kanya kasi medyo kanya siya. So, Let's try this together. Okay, so without further ado, let us begin. So firstly, to give it a fair shot, I'm just gonna do what I normally do on my everyday, on my everyday foundation routine. So moisturize muna ako yung primer at the same time using my Estee Edit or Vanishing Moisturizer. Because I'm like moisturizing sa sa ano pisil in na siya ng pores. At the same time, okay, so I really like this because for some reason, it's not pressed on the face, it's not so heavy. And then what I would normally do is take my Scandinavia Art on the Art Oil Control Priming Spray. I just put it on the part of my hand. Then I put it on the shadow on the part of my face that normally I would oil on the nose, on the nose, on the nose, on the smile lines, on the middle of the forehead. So, because the other parts of my face are kind of dry lately. And if you can see, I would like to address the elephant in the room that I have. That's why I blame it today. Because I don't have any bumps when I see it. I don't have any extra. But I don't have any extra. But still, it's really like that until it fully heals. I don't want to see the spots before I use this foundation. Because I want to use the coverage of this foundation. Okay? So while we are waiting for the primers to set in, let us read what are the information about this. So, Dior Skin Forever Foundation is a new Dior Skin Foundation that 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 is a new Dior Skin SPF 35. This is the Lash Shine Control. Perfect makeup, everlasting wear, and for refining effect. So, we have a lot of claims and we will test that today. So, it has 30 milliliters or 1 fluid ounce normal uh, measurement or normal amount of foundation. So, it's a package. And, by the way, I got this at ATC for <laughs> whopping 3,200 pesos for a foundation. Pero, I'm hoping na sulit siya. So, I'm in this shade um, 21. 021. In case you're interested. So, ito yung bottle niya. Siyempre, luxurious yung feel niya. Medyo frosted bottle. And I like na medyo heavy siya. So, alam mo na luxurious talaga siya. Hindi kanya pinigo pagdating sa packaging. And, meron siyang logo sa taas. Okay, so sa likod makikita mo yung um, information niya, it will last the uh, upon opening 12 months. So parang normal foundation siya. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It has a pump. So firstly, I would like to just dot it all over the face muna. One side muna in case na mabili siya magayon. Yeah, bagay muna natin. Subscribe. So, isang pang and isa at kalahating pang sa isang side ng ating face. So, I'm just taking my mirror and I'm using a tart sponge for this. Well, ang sabi ni Ate Girl dun sa counter ni Dior sa ATC, mas maganda daw itong i-apply with a sponge. Hindi na natin kung may katotokanan yung sinasabi ko sa akin. Pili ko sa akin naman yung shade sa akin. Although, medyo na-absorb nung sponge yung product. So, kung sa first layer na ginagamit yung sponge, ayan, lalapit ang konti. So, you can see. Okay, so kung makita mo, nakikita pa rin yung mga blemishes here. So, hindi naman siya full, full track, full coverage agad upon impact. 
na. So, kung makapare mo din, side to this side. Siya, pero mas even yung side na ito. Diba? So, bago natin siya i-layer, i-try muna natin yung isang side with a brush. For this, I'll be using my card na itong buffing brush na ito that came in a set. So, I'm just going to pop one lang. Ah, kaya pala kailangan mo nang magdala mong pop kasi ang hit, ako hindi nang limalabas for pop. Hindi naman pala siya sa... Para medyo streaky siya pag ina-apply with the brush. Pero pag binap mo naman siya, ako ko, alam ko na agad na gusto ko siyang ilagay with a sponge. Although, feeling ko lang. Mas may coverage syempre itong brush. Pero may streaks kasi na ano eh. May streaks of the brush hair. So, gusto ko talaga yung sponge. Kaya, balik tayo kay sponge. Magdadagdag lang ako. O, tatlong pumps na ito ha. Tatlong pumps na siya. So, try ko lang siyang e-layer. Tingnan natin kung ano nga abon niya ng coverage. As you can see, yung e-layer ko siya. So, ito yung may layer. Okay naman, maganda na ma-coverage ako. Ayan. So, nabibuild naman yung coverage niya. Pero feeling ko, tap ng pop yung nilagay ko, hindi ito pa lang yung naka-cover. So, try natin siya on the other side. Ay! Ako, oh, no. Same din. Tap ng pop din. But remember, when I say tap ng pop, mali niya kasi siya mag... mag... Psh, nga. Repekat. <laughs> mag ng prada. Kaya, don't be... Uh, na-intimidated na, ay, grabe, viewer, tapos sa tumpang pang kailangan per side of the piece. Hindi naman. Kunti lang talaga siya maglabas sa prada. Gusto sabi ko na agad na it layers pretty well. Kasi, pangalaman layer ko eh, pero, ay naman siya. Ayan. So, makikita mo na Nagpipick through pa rin yung mga, nagpipick through pa rin yung mga blemishes natin. Like this one, syempre, masyado siya malaki. Hindi niya kaya. Nagpipick through pa rin, and I would say na yung finish niya, medyo leaning towards the back side. I think you can get away with those things. Na medyo sticky siya. Let us wait for it to dry down. It layers good. Medium coverage siya. Kaya mo siya i-build to full, feeling ko lang. Kasi, It layers pretty well. Itong part na ito makikita mo, na-blur niya talaga total yung pores. So, may natira lang dito sa part na ito, ito yung may pores. Pero dito, parang airbrush na siya. Wala na, wala na yung pores niya. Medyo nagda-dry down siya habang tumatagal. And mas nagiging skin-like yung finish niya. Kasi, nung una, mo, nung una kong apply, parang medyo matte yung finish niya. Pero yun niya, habang nag-settle into the skin siya. So, mga seconds lang naman, hindi naman may needs. Mas nagmumukha siya ang skin. Sa personal, sobrang skin like na tingnan. Yan, yeah, nakatingin ako sa mirror here. Nakatingin, habang nakatingin ako sa mirror, I can see na tala kong malapsot ng foundation on the screen. So, itry natin na doon sa part na may blemishes, magdagdag tayo ng coverage. Try lang natin kung kaya niya talaga i-cover. Kasi sabi niya, full coverage eh, di ba? Dito lang naman yun. Kaya kung daming blemishes lately, na-discover ko na ang reason is yung ginagamit ko na facial wash. Kasi nung in-stop ko siya, nag-stop din yung paglabas ng mga bumps. Ayan, so na-cover niya na yung mga blemishes natin. Pwede talaga siya i-build into full coverage. So, sulit naman siya. Ang smell niya, parang wala naman siya masyadong smell. Initially, parang... Hindi, wala naman siya. Wala naman siya kakaibas. Usually kasi, pag luxury brands, may hilig silang mag, ano ba yun, maglagay ng sobrang OE na triggerance sa mga products nila. And I think, at necessary, kasi minsan, may mga tao na sensitive sa mga ingredients sa mga fragrances. So, I don't know, baka gusto lang nila kasi, ano ba yun, para sosyalin yung kamoy, may ganun factor. Okay, so, syempre, naturally, nung sinilagyan ko siya ng powder, from natural finish, naging match na ng color. Pero isa-set naman siya natin ng setting spray. So, I'm just gonna do the rest of my makeup so we can see how each other applies over the top of the 
And I'll be right back. So, this is my makeup done. Ang masasabi ko, you really have to set it. Kasi otherwise, kakapit or mag may tag yung paglagay mo ng ibang powder products all over your face. So, you really have to set this foundation para smooth yung application ng ibang powder products over top. Yeah, siguro kung gagamit ka ng mga cream products, okay lang. But you really have to set it if you're going to use um, pa other powder products like bronzer, blush, highlight, etc. And so far, so good. Masasabi ko sa kanya, habang tumatagal siya, nagmumukha siya lalong skin-like. And oh my gosh, ang ganda tingnan ng skin sa personal. I don't know if, if, if it comes across sa video, but the skin looks like skin. Sobrang hindi cakey. Wala, parang pinanan niya lang yung powder sa kanya. Dito, sabi ko na, kita pa rin yung pores, di ba? Nakita mo ba? But, nothing crazy. Yung normal lang, feeling ko if I use talaga another pore filling primer na yun talaga, pang pores talaga, I can easily get away with that. Sa so, smile lens ko, the good thing is hindi pa siya masyado nag-i-crease. Hindi yung sobrang crazy tulad ng ibang foundations. And, sobrang ganda niya sa camera. I can see it in the viewfinder. Nakaka- Uh, para ko nang hypnotize. Kasi ang ganda-ganda niya tingnan sa skin. Oh my gosh. So, ang tinignan na natin ngayon is how it lasts all throughout the day. Kung talaga bang long wear rin siya. Like it claims, it looks airbrushed in person. Para lang siyang balat ko. Ganun yung feeling ko. Walang look of heaviness. Walang feeling of heaviness. Even though biruin mo nilayer na natin siya, di ba? To get the full coverage. But, it feels so light. Parang ko balat sa all. Kaya, <laughs> It's so amazing. Hindi ko alam kung matutuwa ako. Hindi ako matutuwa kasi ano ba yun? <sighs> Ayaw ko siya doon na-attack siya kanya. They're just... Ano ba yun? Parang... You shouldn't attach yourself to material things in life. But let us see kung gano'n siya tatagal. Let us have a wear test and I will get back to you with my final thoughts. So it's been... Um... Seven hours since I first put on the Dior... For every skin foundation. So, kung napapansin nyo, sa T-Zone, although hindi naman super, I admire this foundation. Kasi recently, yung oil production ng mga oil glands ko sa mukha, talagang, alam mo yun, optimum production level talaga sila. Siguro dahil sa init, ganun yun eh, pag mainit, feel na skin mo na kailangan niya mag-produce ng hydration, kaya produce ng produce ng oil. So, super mega oily ko talaga ngayon. So, sa T-zone, medyo, hindi mo T-zone, sa nose siya kasi gilid ng nose, as you can see, medyo oily na siya. Pero nothing too much, considering na almost ilang oras na yung lumipas, di ba? The rest of the skin, okay pa naman siya. Although, masasabi ko, it might be the concealer kasi. Um, dito, medyo nag-cake lang siya, siya dun sa may under eyes kasi. So, baka sakali na hindi masyadong nagbe-brand si Too Faced na medyo liquidy na concealer at si Dior RSD na hindi naman siya liquidy parang sa akin to match siya so baka hindi siya match so, so dapat pala yung ginamit ko na concealer maybe next time I will try yung dark shade tape basta a thicker formula hindi yung masyadong watery kasi baka hindi siya nag hindi sila jaya pala mayroon so other than that The other part of the skin, mukha pa rin siyang airbrush. Mukha pa rin siyang skin. Ayan, nakikita mo naman, di ba? Parang, ang flawless pa rin tingnan yung skin. And hindi heavy yung feeling niya sa face. I don't feel the urge na magkilakos. Itong pinaka gusto ko sa kanya, in fairness, kasi grabe yung lalim ng smile line ko dito. As in, kahit ano talaga ang foundation, walang, wala talaga nakakalusot. I mean, lahat nakakalusot dun sa mismong crevice. Pero, ito hindi masyado, oh. hindi siya ganun ka-prominent. So, I'm so excited for that kasi that's been my problem for ages na talaga. Other than that, wala naman ako ibang masabi sa kanya kundi nice things. So, all in all, ako talagang super approved ako sa kanya. Isang malaking check kasi ang, ang galing niya na hindi siya nag-break apart sa sobrang ka-oilet. At ang init niya yun na, Limabas ako, ang init. Hindi siya nag... <laughs> so, hindi siya nag-break apart. And I really like that about this foundation. Kasi, 
This weather is really trying my skin. Sobra. Alam mo yun, kailangan ko ng heavy duty na foundation, pero hindi heavy ang weight sa feel. So guys, if nakatulong sa inyo itong review na to, then please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for more videos. And of course, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram account here below. And I will see you on my next video. Bye! Looks like we made it. Look how far we've gone, my baby. We might have took it a long way. We knew we'd get there someday. They said.